Hello, everyone. My name is Zhi Jiali. I am from the Institute of Information Engineering and University of Chinese Academic of Sciences. The paper I will be presenting today is titled TTAGN Temporal Transaction Aggregation Graph Network for Ethereum Phishing Scam Detection. Over the past years, we have witnessed an increasing use of cryptocurrencies across all data tracked by chain analysts. Total transaction value grew to 15.8 trillion in 2021. At the same time, the crime based on it hit a new all-time high, with illicit addresses receiving 14 billion over a year. Scams were once again the largest form of blockchain crime by transaction value. With this group come an increased focus on cryptocurrency security issues. A particular concern is the phishing scams. In recent years, phishing scams have become the most serious type of crime involved in Ethereum, the second largest blockchain platform. Phishing, as a typical scam, has received a great deal of attention due to its high visibility and lots of potential victims. Based on 2021 report from Chain Analyze, victims lost $645,000 within the first week of phishing campaign, and the attacker's illegal profit exceeds $3 million in just one month. Phishing scams cause great economic losses and have become a major threat to the trading security of Ethereum. Chain analysis shows that phishing scams are the most deceptive scams, accounting for 50% of malicious fraud in the blockchain. Therefore, identify phishing scams on Ethereum become an urgent and a critical issue. However, phishing scams on Ethereum are very different from traditional phishing scams. As figure shows, traditional phishing scams rely on building forged platforms to collect sensitive information or receive remittance from victims. So traditional detection methods focus on mining forged platform patterns, such as CCS styles, website URLs. However, in Ethereum, phishing organizations take high reward propaganda to induce remittance. They can provide money directly without forged platforms by spreading phishing address in any way, such as email, chat groups, and so on. Since there is no fixed pattern for phishing scams on Ethereum, traditional detection methods are ineffective. The current methods of phishing scam detection on Ethereum are to learn the representation of phishing nodes through the transaction network and classify nodes in which nodes represent Ethereum transaction addresses and edges represent transactions between addresses. The main detection method can be divided into two types. One is to combine traditional machine learning and manual design features of nodes for phishing detection. However, this method mainly relies on professional knowledge to extract manual design features, such as node in degree, total transaction amount, transaction time interval, which are inefficient and non-automated. The other one is to apply network representation learning to the Ethereum transaction network for mining deep features. Random work and graph neural network are adapted to automatically learn representations, which has made a very important breakthrough. However, there are still some remaining problems. First, this method lack of temporal transaction information. They only adopt the last transaction or even completely ignore this record. Second, only statistical and structural features extracted from the next words are considered as the node embedding. We are trading features referring to the contextual information of transaction records are ignored totally, result in a weak node representation. To address the above challenges, in this work, we propose TTAGN to enhance phishing scams detection on Ethereum by effectively utilizing transaction temporal information. First, based on a large amount of Ethereum transaction data obtained, we build a large-scale Ethereum transaction multiple edges directed graph. In the transaction graph, we use nodes to represent Ethereum transaction addresses and edges to represent transactions between addresses. Multiple edges may exist between two nodes, and each edge carries information of this transaction. The scalar of the original graph is huge, 
So we take the sampling step with a random walk. Because of the anonymity of the blockchain platform, the node itself does not carry any attribute. So we extract 10 dimensional statistical features as the attribute of the node. Second, we propose temporal transaction aggregation graph network to learn node embedding. We design three modules to generate node representation by graph mining. The temporal age representation module models the temporal relationship of historical transaction to construct the representation of ages. The age to node module aggregates age representations around the node to fuse topological interactive relationships into trading features. And the graph autoencoder further enhances the perception of node structure information. Finally, the output of several modules are combined as the final representation of the node, which feeds into the classifier to get the result. In the temporal edges representation module, edge representations are generated from transaction interaction relationships between nodes. First, we extract multiple transactions between addresses to form a transaction sequences with amount and time. Then, we apply the sequence model LSTM to characterize the multiple temporal transactions and capture the temporal patterns of interaction between a pair of nodes. Finally, we generated effective age representations. In the age to node module, node representation are enriched by bias aggregation of age representation with temporal transaction information to the nodes. We aggregated the age representation around each node to fuse topological interactive relationships. Moreover, we adopt attention with multiple level mechanism to catch similar transaction behaviors and finally generate the trading features. In the structure enhancement module, structure features are obtained by reconstructing the transaction graph. Analogous to the idea of graph autoencoder, we reconstruct the relationship between the nodes of the transaction graph. We combine the trading features obtained from each two node with statistical features as node embedding and input them into the GCN as the encoder to learn the structural features of the node. The model training is guided by the reconstructed loss. The task of this part is to classify nodes to distinguish between fishing nodes and normal nodes. After the above operations, we have obtained three types of features. Trading features learned from temporal edge representation and edge to node module. Structure features learned from the structure enhancement module and statistic features obtained from nodes. We split them together as the incomplete representation of the node. There are many choices of classified, and in this work, we choose light GBM. We crawled account label phishing from the Etherum label cloud of the authorized website Etherscan. As of July 2021, 4,932 addresses have been verified to be phishing addresses. With this label node being the central node, we extract their first order, second order neighbors, and the transaction between all of them through the API provided by either scan. Finally, we obtain massive data. The scalar of the original graph is huge, so we sampled with random work to obtain subgraph of, of, of our data site with different sites. For each subgraph of different sites, we sample five times to ensure the effectiveness of the performance. We also did some data cleaning work. The baselines of the work include feature-based methods where only the node attributes are considered, factorization-based network embedding methods like LLE, and random work-based network embedding methods like deep work, node to vectory, and line where both topological information and node attribute are involved. In addition, we also use some of the popular deep learning-based network representation methods. 
like SDNE, EGCN, GraphSage, and GAT to learn node representation. Our evolution metrics include area on the ROC curve, recall, precision, and FE score. First, we evaluate the performance of all the compared methods in the task of phishing scam detection on Ethereum. The corresponding results are reported in the table. We could find, in terms of four evaluation metrics, our approach TTAGN outperforms all the other compared methods by a significant margin. TTAGN achieves the best performance on three data sites, especially in large graphs. TTAGN also has better node representation capability than existing Ethereum phishing detection methods. This result demonstrated TTAGN can fully mine transaction temporal information and interaction relationships of Ethereum than EGCN and feature-only methods. Network representation methods based on deep learning are our strong opponents. However, they are also not performing well. On the data set 3, our four evaluation metrics are nearly 10% higher than them. Second, to validate the effectiveness of our innovation, we eliminated three models respectively. From figure, we can find that our model performance gets worse by removing any of these three key components, which reflect that all three models are important. The TTAGN without temporal age representation module performs the worst of all variants. This result proves that the importance of ages with transaction information in the transaction graph. Third, we further evaluate the performance of TTAGN with respect to the transaction sequence length and H2 node attention size. Because the number of transactions between nodes is different, age representation should include all valid information without causing information redundancy. So we relied the variable length input of LSTM. From the upper figure, we can find variable length performance better than all fixed length parameters. As for H2 node attention size, we can find TTAGN is robust to it and consistently outperforms other compiled methods. Here is our conclusion. In the work, first, we propose a temporal transaction aggregation graph network to enhance phishing scams detection performance on Ethereum. Second, we model the temporal relationship of historical transaction records between nodes to construct the age representation of the Ethereum transaction network. Third, we aggregate the obtained effective age representation to fuse topological interactive relationships into nodes which enrich node strong representation ability. At last, we hope that our work demonstrated the serious threat of phishing scams on Ethereum and the call for effective countermeasures deployed by the blockchain community. That's all. Thanks for your listening.